going to make today? Quicksand. We are going to make homemade quicksand. So, what do we need to make quicksand? What is this? Um, cornstarch. That's corn starch. right. And how about this stuff? Water. Very good. A cup of water. And this? <coughs> and what are these? That's right. And how about this? Bowl. That's what we're going to make our quicksand in. We're going to use about one and three quarter cups of cornstarch and one cup of water to start. If that is not enough, we will add more cornstarch as necessary. Here's our first cup of cornstarch. We're going to put it in the bowl. There it goes. We're going to add three quarters of a cup more. Quarters of a cup more of cornstarch, bringing it to one and three quarters cup of cornstarch. Next, thank you. We're going to add one cup of water. One cup of water. Ready? Whoa. Perfect. No, guys. Then we start to mix. Would you like to mix this? It's already working. I can feel it. Oh, boy. It's already feeling like quicksand. After we thoroughly mix it, we will demonstrate how it is quicksand and why it is quicksand. Now we have our homemade quicksand. How do you like it? Good. What does it feel like when you move your fingers very slowly through it? Quicksand. Like quicksand. Does it feel like a liquid? Yeah. What happens when you move your fingers faster? Um, feels harder. Feels harder, huh? And I'm going to pick some up. Wow. Does it feel more like a solid? Yeah. Yes. When you move through quicksand or this homemade quicksand slowly, wow. it behaves like a liquid. Because, well, oh, keep your hands over the bowl. Because when you move slowly through it, it allows time for water to get in between the small pieces of either the sand or, in this case, cornstarch. When you move quickly through quicksand or homemade quicksand, the water kind of gets pushed out and, can, and the little grains of cornstarch or sand cannot move across each other smoothly anymore and it begins to behave and feel like a solid. That is why if a human steps into quicksand and then quickly tries to yank their foot or leg back out, they feel like they're trapped because the quicksand behaves like a solid instead of a woo, <laughs> instead of a liquid. Um, but if they were to simply move their foot back and forth very slowly, like you are moving your fingers very slowly, it will feel like a liquid as water can come back in between oh. the grains of sand. Oh. Did you know that a human won't really sink all the way down into quicksand? Yeah. Because we are less dense than quicksand. So we'll only sink to, I think, chest level is what I've read. So if you ever fall into quicksand, don't panic. Try to slowly release yourself from it so it behaves like a liquid. Or lean back slowly and float on your back like you would in regular water to slowly move yourself out of the quicksand. I'm moving my slowly my hands out of the quicksand. Doesn't it feel cool? Yeah. I love that stuff. This is one of my fav most favorite homeschool science uh, experiments. Mom, put them in your and put them in your too. Heck yeah, I will. This stuff is so cool. So neat. When you grab it, it feels like you have something solid, but as you lift up, it, it all flows right out. And then, oh, that's harder to do. That's easier to do. You're going to spill it. Be gentle. Anyways, this is a great um, science demo. Yeah. Gosh, for any age. I had um, some of the parents at our homeschool co-op were very excited and interested to learn about this, why it works, and how real quicksand works. So any age, but especially the young kids love this because they can get their hands dirty, and it's cool. Uh, quicksand is a non-Newtonian fluid, so it does not follow the traditional laws of Newtonian fluid dynamics like honey, wood, or water, regular liquids we're used to. So it, it behaves, the viscosity of this stuff behaves differently depending on the outside pressure that is applied to it. So when you go slow, it behaves like a liquid. When you go fast and hard, it behaves like a solid and you feel stuck in there. So this is how you make homemade quicksand using cornstarch and water. It's a great project and he'll probably play with this for at least a half an hour.